Hi, my name is Bob Morreale. I'm with the Tuning School, and today I'm going to show you a little video on how to choose the right wideband for your application. We have two widebands that we uh, have in front of us here that we recommend. They're both from a company called Daytona Sensors. And the first wideband is this uh, Wego 3S. This is the wideband that we would recommend for the entry level or enthusiast or somebody that wants to uh, do a permanent installation into a vehicle. And we've chosen this one for that purpose because it is a sealed unit. Um, this one's waterproofed and it can be tucked away under a dashboard. Uh, it's also very good for driving a gauge or your favorite data logging equipment or software like your HP tuners or your SCT or whatever you happen to be using. So it's not that this wideband is any less accurate than its big brother over here. It's just that this is not really designed to be portable. This one is what we would consider more of a permanent installation. Uh, one user into a single vehicle kind of a kind of a wideband. It's highly accurate, but like I said, really the purpose is more for the, the enthusiast who wants to put it into their own car. So we have over here to its right, this is the big brother, this is the Wego 4 series, also made by Daytona Sensors. Now the purpose of this wideband that we like to use it for is for any time that we need a portable wideband or a wideband for our own shop use. So if a shop owner calls and says, what wideband do you recommend? This is the wideband that we recommend. And the reason we do that is, well, there's actually several, but as you can tell, uh, this one in particular has uh, dual inputs, two inputs, two wideband O2s, which really makes tuning much easier. You could actually put a wideband at each bank of a car, left and right bank. Or if you go with this single unit, it really isn't gonna make a whole lot difference in terms of usability. It's just gonna have a one input from one wideband. But there is a, a big benefit to using uh, the Wego 4 that we like is the digital display. Now, some of you that may have been tuning for a while will know that what you see here on the display does not necessarily match up with what you see maybe in your tuning software scanner or in your, wide, in your uh, dynos software. So we always like to be able to do a quick check and say, okay, well this says we're at 14.0, what does my software say? So it's just a quick, easy way of looking at it and going, okay, I know it's matched up properly. We don't have to worry about the actual reading versus what we're seeing. So uh, primarily this, again, used for multiple purpose, shop use, or going from car to car, either of those, this is really the, the better setup for you. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call at 727-264-8875 or visit us online at thetuningschool.com.